Hey guys, so in the last video, we created landing page automation, we created appointment automation, which was basically confirmation and reminders. In this one, we are going to discuss how to create the automation for cancel appointments and no show appointments. Now, for that, let's create a new workflow from scratch. All right, so what we're going to do is let's name it canceled and no show. Okay, let's set up a trigger for this appointment status. Let's uh, select in calendar and appointment status is canceled. Appointment canceled. We're gonna name this trigger appointment canceled. And uh, so this is the trigger when somebody cancels an appointment this trigger is going to execute now let's create another one i'm going to explain why i'm creating two triggers in the same workflow so let's do in calendar same calendar appointment status is no show all right let me explain why i created two so i am going to handle the canceled and no show let me name it no show so I'm going to handle canceled appointments and no-show appointments using the same workflow. You can do two separate workflows and each of those workflows will uh, contain basically each of these triggers. Now I'm going to show you how I do it using one single workflow just to save the time and trouble. Now I'm going to do if. Let's come down here and say if. If cancelled. So I'm going to say workflow trigger is no result found so let's save this action oh no it won't let me save it so let's save the workflow usually when it does not show you these triggers you need to save the workflow so i forget this all the time and i've forgotten this in the live video too okay let's do cancelled and hopefully this will show up this time it is okay yeah cancelled and we're going to add a new branch called no show. This will all make sense uh, once I save the action here. So don't worry. OK, now what I have created is two branches. One will execute for this workflow trigger and the other one for the other trigger. OK, so save action. Now I'm going to branch these two actions out and Let's, let's do cancelled automations. So when an appointment is cancelled, what we're going to do is let's uh, update, create our update opportunity. So we're going to do create our update. Let's name this uh, move to cancel. Select pipeline, main pipeline, move to cancel. Okay. Opportunity name would be just the same and status is open, whatever. Move to cancel. For no show, it will be just the same thing. Just we are going to move it to no show in pipeline. No show. All right. Move to no show. OK. Fine. Let's save it. And you can send an internal notification. Send internal notification type of notification email. From name, email, you could just fill this up later. I'm just saving the time. Assigned user, uh, appointment cancelled. Okay. Now I'm going to say that day. Had to cancel the appointment. Okay. That's it. You could, you could add a bunch of other stuff here. Just customize it according to how you need it. Now, internal notification, I could just copy this, copy action, and paste it here. So I'm just going to edit it a bit. It will be appointment no show. Did not show up for the appointment. Okay. Basically, our internal notification and pipeline management is done here. Now what we're going to do is we can add a tag. So what we'll do is uh, let's add a contact tag. I'm just trying to show you uh, what are the few things you can do uh, in this process. So we are going to add a new tag called uh, cancelled. 
for this we can add a new tag called no show okay and also if you if you want to uh, send follow-up emails and sms this is where you do it so hi contact name sorry you couldn't make it to the appointment today please reschedule if you want using the link below actually uh what am i saying today so the, uh, the appointment could be cancelled before uh one or two or whatever days so we will say sorry you had to cancel the appointment and the link for reschedule you're gonna find it under appointments reschedule link regards okay that's fine subject will be sorry you had to cancel and basically it will be just a follow-up email you could do multiple follow-up emails like a like two or three follow-up emails sms so i'm going to copy this action and paste it over here we're going to say sorry you couldn't make it sorry you couldn't make it actually sorry you couldn't make it sounds really terrible okay so this is the process so what you're gonna do is we, you're gonna put a wait trigger here and this will be basically a time delay we're gonna wait for one day maybe and do another email from here wait another uh, another two or three days maybe a week and do the third email so this is just how you want to customize it how you think would be convenient for like for people to receive these uh, follow-up text and uh, emails from you so you could set it however you want and uh, this is how you need to handle cancelled and no-show appointments using this automation now uh, there's a question here so i have put cancelled appointments and no-show appointments and i can handle the cancelled appointments uh, using a link so if i give them the cancellation link they just click on it and they cancel themselves what about the no-show ones the system doesn't know if the if the person showed up to the appointment uh, to the day of appointment or not so what you're gonna do is you can just go to the appointments let's go to calendar and let's go to appointments so here's a test uh, booking I made for December 6 11 a.m. now if the lead does not show up on the day if the prospect does not show up on the day of the appointment what you're gonna do is you can just come here and make it no show and that's it that's when the automation will work for the prospect and the lead is gonna show up here there you go uh, and the prospect is gonna receive follow-ups according to how you set it on the automation over here so in the next tutorial we are gonna wrap things up for this tutorial playlist and i'm gonna show you one more trick of how you can automate the whole process because just like we've seen in this uh we actually did not automate the whole process because you are going to the system making changes in the system and the automation is not complete because it's depending on you at some point so we're gonna get rid of that in the next video and yeah, stay tuned and see you in the next one.